Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the King Crab because I haven't played the King Crab in ages and it's time for another build. So look at this beauty. It is so so wide, it is so big and it is so easy to take apart. Um, it is a missile magnet, look at the top. I mean from the top it's just a disc. But uh, if you have enough teammates around you can do some nice shenanigans with the King Crab. So what are we doing today? We take Ultra Auto Cannon tens, two of them, we take four medium lasers and a bunch of rocket launches. I like rockets. So this is uh, obviously uh, a very, very mixed build here. Um, it's somewhat tough to play, but if you get into the right situations, it's, it's a lot of fun because uh, the Alpha Strike firepower is 160 damage. Of course you wouldn't Alpha Strike. Why? Because uh, all of the rockets, they would generate Ghost Heat and therefore I have this Alpha Strike damage staggered. But still, you can technically deal 160 damage with uh, against a single target in no time and um, that makes the enemy, uh, if they don't die at this point, it makes the enemy playing super timid because you will probably open them up, you will probably rip a torso apart or an arm or whatever and uh, this is a lot of fun. Also we have options here. This build is more or less mid-range oriented and the Ultra AC tens make it so that you can actually contribute to the fight early on or earlier than having say AC-20s in this build. So I like it a lot. Um, I'm also going for an AMS here because I have the weight to sustain that. Uh, we are running the XL, no, not XL, but the Light Engine 360, which is the biggest one for the King Crab. I want to be able to keep up with the team and therefore 58.3 kph is quite necessary. Also, it makes it so that you can get close enough to actually fire the rockets on a very short distance um, so that the spread isn't that much anymore. But guys, very important, if you are playing with rocket launchers, take a look at the, the damage graph down there. There is a dead zone of 50 meters where you're dealing zero damage and then the damage pops up to uh, 30, 30 actually. Um, until it reaches its maximum distance of 400 meters again. So 50 meters is the minimum distance that you have to be away from your enemies to actually deal damage. Keep that in mind, it's very important. Now, as for the skill build, uh, I went for, of course, the magazine capacity to uh, sustain myself long enough with the auto cannons. I have the enhanced jam duration notes here. Very important, there's um, a difference between jam chance and jam duration. The notes that we have here are uh, UAC jam duration minus 15%. So as soon as your auto cannon jams, the duration is shortened. Um, also, rack jam ramp down duration. Uh, this is for the for the bar that slowly fills up on the rotary auto cannons that um, you know dissipates quicker. But Again, very important difference. Uh, apart from it, uh, heat chain, heat chain, heat chain, heat chain, heat chain, as much as we can get, because um, if we fire our weapons consistently, and we will do that, then um, the heat bar will climb up and uh, we want to make it so that it doesn't climb up that fast. Therefore, we got all of this. We got a point of velocity here, which is completely optional as well as this one. And uh, as you can see, we got a lot, a lot of cooldown. I like velocity, by the way. It really helps with the rockets. Very important, only with the auto cannons, but also with the rockets. Um, in terms of armor or survivability, I went for a little bit of armor and then skeletal density as soon as I had access to it. I didn't master it here. I didn't fill it out completely because the build, as I was saying, you can play it safe with, with the King Crab. You don't have to necessarily go in super deep because you have range. Uh, I also went for the AMS overload nodes here because we are running an AMS and I think it's better than having shock absorbance. I don't intend to jump around that much. Uh, no mobility here, uh, but we went for full cool run. We have no radar deprivation, but uh, the double cool shot, as I was saying, it's really nice to have to amplify the damage and keep going when you are at maximum heat. You just press that button and um, you cool down and keep shooting. Now, a little side note that I wanna, wanna um, drop here. If, if you haven't gotten the memo yet, I'm also streaming on Twitch. If you want to join the Twitch streams, it's best if you go over to my Twitch page, leave a follow there and as soon as I go online, you get the notifications. Link is down below in the description. It's twitch tv slash baradrul, very easy to remember. And I am looking forward to see a lot of you guys there. Um, and that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the HPG Manifold. Of course, we're going to shoot the Lucky Eye because if you do, you get a 20% increased um, win chance. And that's great. It's not true, though. But, uh, you know, being a little bit superstitious would help. Maybe. Okay, so what do we do? Um, teammates were arguing about going to the bottom or going to the top. Uh, I personally like the top more. However, if everybody went to the bottom 
and then pushing out, trying to engage singled out enemies. It could technically, technically work. But that's uh, when everybody is playing together, and uh, if we have that kind of scenario established, then we could also take the top, so why not? Coming to Delta 4. So we have an assault make there. This death strike. No, it's a yep. mark 2B. Um, needs to die quickly, and it is already almost down. Cool. So yeah, we 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 got we got a good advantage by killing this guy. That's great. I'm not even in the in the proximity yet. Not even close yet to the battlefield. What? The game is already escalating. So uh, I'm gonna take the top now. Let's see. I believe we can just shoot from here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Love that sound of the auto cannons here. It's great. So the key crab is not particularly good at um, shooting from the bottom to the top or the other way around because you have to expose your whole mech. Um, the problem is, of course, the low arms. Um, but still, uh, we can try to get something done if you just stay here. Not shooting at rockets yet. I want that for later when we have a nice. When we have a nice assault mech in front of us. Gonna get a flea. Okay. Cool. We need more mechs on the top. Please. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Looking good. So, can we go over here and watch this flank? Watch this ramp. I mean, we have dominance over the top now. Some of our guys are obviously fighting in the bottom there. Are they? Is the Victor coming up again? Oh, patience. Patience. I got not that much of it, I gotta say. I really want to drop down there and fight now. But I have to make sure that everybody is in place for that. Okay, this is the rocket time. Yeah, the Victor paid for it. I think he is open now. Yeah, in the center. And where would we go, though? There's another probe of the, of the firing line here. I cannot hit this guy, sadly. Where's my team? Oh, team has pulled back. No, 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 guys. Oh, 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 oh. That means that I have to go somewhere as well. Uh, okay, this is not safe anymore. Okay, there's an AC2 Shadowhawk. This guy is a good target, though. Way better target. Come on, awesome. Die. There's a flea behind me. Hello, Mr. Flea. Oh, no, he's in the basement. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Um... Yeah, the hunchback is a problem there. Not anymore, though, because we just do that. Holy cow. Ultras are jammed, and uh, yeah, my team on the right side, they completely did the right thing. They, um, actually, the response to the to the right push there was exactly what we needed. Cool, it worked out so far. <laughs> LRM night here, not too scary. If I drop here, I'm gonna make the victor my priority. Hi. You are being targeted from the back. And you're dead. Where's the... Oh, it's an Atlas. Hello, Mr. Atlas. Ba -bam -ba -bam. Let's get the side off. Oh my god. Face hugging an Atlas. Not a good idea. But the good thing is that we have the Cyclops. Alright. We got this. 11 and 3. And there's one guy above us. Actually, he's around the corner. Ah, that was the Night here from before. <laughs> okay, maybe we can snatch the kill, but probably not, because we are being blocked by everybody. Shall we? Shall we try? Not quite. Not quite. Cool game, guys. I like that round. So, what we have is burst. We have 40 damage plus 20 damage from the lasers, like 40 damage from the auto cannons if they don't jam, of course, plus 20 damage. Yeah, 20 damage from the lasers. And we got good cycle time. And, you know, the rockets are just a gimmick, but I like them. They were so cool to open up that victor in no time. Now, what did we do in terms of killing? Three killing blows, seven assists, two kilomos damage dealt with 756 damage done and five components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Skirmish, we're gonna go with the team. Uh, wherever the team is going, we're gonna go with them. And this is the cool thing about the build. The big engine makes this crab a really, really speedy. And uh, this is what I like about it. Uh, if you can keep up with the NASCAR, you can keep up with your team. You don't have to worry so much that you will be left alone. And usually, as a new player to Assault Max, uh, try to slap a bigger engine on the mech, I would say. Uh, just to get a feeling for the mech and then slowly decrease the engine size for more firepower or whatever so um, the 100 ton assault makes are quite quite difficult to play actually so the lighter you are in terms of uh, weight class 
as an assault mech, the easier it is to still remain or retain some speed while having a good amount of firepower and armor around you. Uh, I'm gonna go more or less to the right side here. And it seems that I'm the only assault mech. Is that true? Wait, 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 wait. Is that true? King Crab, uh, Grasshopper, Mad Dog, Dragon. Yeah, okay, so I'm the only assault mech, so I can assume that the enemies only have one assault mech as well. I uh, got a little bit, tiny amounts of damage to the Annihilator. Alright, there they are, New all of them. Great. Acquired. Okay, we... Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, I tended to New fall down there, acquired. but uh, that was a bit glitchy. Um, got some good damage to the Nova without taking any return fire so far. I am a little bit afraid of the guys in Charlie 5. If they decide to push up to Delta 5 again while I'm trying to push to Delta 4, I am obviously flanked. Also, I'm acquired. obviously blocked. Yeah, this guy. Um, rockets, why not? Let's uh, open him up. So, he should be extremely damaged. Also... Oh, hello, Nova. Hello. Uh-huh. That's definitely more rocket time. Okay, so we fell down here. I don't care so much about the machine guns, because... At the moment... Ooh, at the moment I'm hot. Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know. Okay. So at the moment I still have a lot of armor on the front and therefore I'm not too afraid of machine gun fire from the front, obviously. Okay, so we go for the Annihilator, Annihilator and try to get a kill. They popped a UAV. I don't know if you could see it. It was uh, briefly visible. Okay, we opened this guy up. Problem is that I need to be careful with my armor now. That's why. Left also critical damage. Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. We have them where we want them. We cut them surrounded. They are afraid of us. They are retreating. Keep up the pressure. It's very important right now. I really want to go in. I do, but I cannot do it myself. Come on, guys. Go with me, please. Oh, somebody needs to go in now. We're missing out on so many opportunities. All right. Let's go. I'm going then. This is gonna be a mistake, but somebody has to, right? So if my team is not doing it, I'm gonna do it myself. New target There's the Nova. is dead. It's great. And uh, this is what I was saying. Um, they are most, mostly busy running. And with, when they are running, we can just go in and, and destroy them. I don't want to push it up there. Uh, it's too much cover. Uh, too much... Too many mechs covering this area. So now we can. Because now we have target diversity again. Uh, I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get... Open up. Are my rocks? Oh, both of my auto cannons are jammed. Good thing is that I'm not a priority to the enemy because this guy now, now he realized that he cannot get away from this. So yeah, he was trying to dodge the fire by twisting his torso, but um, he, he couldn't. He couldn't get away from it. If he decided to just stand, stand and fight there, uh, I would have probably lost my torso. So he could have accomplished something in a do or die situation. Um, but you know, um, I was happy that he was so intimidated by all of my teammates. One of the, uh, sorry, one of the good things is that I can actually shoot um, left and right next to my teammates. So because we are so wide, you could see that just in the in the moment when I was on the ramp, that one of my guys was in front of me and I was still shooting right next to him. Alrighty, good job, guys. Good job. It took you a while to take the initiative there, but as soon as we got that, bam, that's the kill. Alright, let's have a look at the end score. It is uh, one killing blow, nine assists, we got five kill most damage dealt. 819 damage with six components destroyed. I really, I have to say, I really, really like the build. Um, the rocket launchers give you some nice burst when you need it, when you just want to open up a single enemy in no time with all of your weapons and just say, hey, you are out of the game. And even if you're not dead, you should be try, you should try to reposition. And this opens up some space. This guy won't do anything for like 30 seconds anymore. And maybe somebody can go in and follow up on the kill then. That's cool. Now, that's the daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch if you like. Link is down below in the description as well as the Patreon link. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.